did some research on hovercraft to prepare for the design process. What did you find out? I discovered that the Navy has used hovercraft to transport up to 60 tons of cargo over both land and water. Wow! There are 2,000 pounds in a ton. That is more than 120,000 pounds. Very good. They can go up to speeds of 46 miles per hour with a full load. This requires engines with 16,000 horsepower. That's a lot of horses. I also did some research on air pressure. I needed to discover how powerful a blower I would need for an air supply and how big the craft would have to be to support my weight. It's what you need to know, just like the problem board. Precisely. I also found I needed to build a model of my hovercraft and test it to find the answers to all of my questions. I'm probably going to have to test and retest to refine my model before I actually build my prototype hovercraft. Can we help? Sure. Let's take a look at my first model. Based upon my research, I chose a round design covered in plastic. My research indicates I need a leaf blower to provide enough air for the full-size hovercraft. But for these models, I'm just going to use this vacuum cleaner. You have holes in the plastic, but how do you know how many to make? And how big to make them? That's just the problem I'm working on right now. I'm testing several models to find just the right pattern and size for the holes. I'm going to test each model to see how much weight it can lift. Let's try it. <laughs> Why did you have to sometimes lift up the hovercraft? Well, sometimes when the air is first turned on and the plastic is flat against the table, the air can't get out of the holes to start the lifting. I hadn't anticipated this problem. I know. You could fasten something underneath the hovercraft that would give it a little lift to begin with. Then you wouldn't have to lift it up. Excellent idea. Our modeling process is helping us to uncover and solve problems we didn't anticipate. Are you also going to use different sized disks? I sure am. In fact, that's my next step.